Hello everyone and welcome to Erebus Gaming. We've got some more lightning returns here for you and this is Voices from the Grave. Now this one actually requires a bit of thought process, a little bit of luck, but the majority is trying to find the correct people. So to trigger this quest, I talked to this sentry just outside the clock tower in Luxurian. The ones killed by the children of Etro. Apparitions go against the Order's beliefs. I suspect this is all nothing more than a wild rumor fanned by superstition. And from speaking to this guy, I then saw this resident at 6 in the morning. I'm not too sure when she's around, but I found her at 6 in the morning. And she's just uh, outside North Station. And from this one, there is another person you need to speak to, a man. He is... I saw a woman with just inside the church district, the I believe. He'll have question marks on his head. The crime scene. There was something almost and the final person you need to speak Judy to something. is a woman in the residential area. And it'll be resident as well. Rumor has it, the victims and once you spoke to all four of these people, all you'll actually be able to night. start the quest. I now, see it for myself, it's 12pm, or midnight, whichever is your preference. You want to go outside the north station and there'll be a woman in front of the statue. Now I'm going to let this play out and I'll catch you on the next bit. You and I, we've met before, right here where we stand. Although I really wasn't in any state to introduce myself at that time, I'm afraid. You're one of the women who was killed by Etro's heretics. It was your resemblance to me that got you killed. It was because of me that you died. Yes, but I don't blame you. All is part of God's plan. It was my destiny to die here so that I could meet you, Savior. You're saying God intended for you to die like this? I believe so. I believe I was meant to die and gain enlightenment. I know because I was a member of the Order and learned all about the teachings of God. I'm to share with you my knowledge and help guide you on your journey. Savior, you must be aware that in this world, new life hasn't been born for hundreds of years. Do you know why that is? I've never given it much thought, but I suppose that's part of his plan too. A dying world can't support a growing population. And that's what the almighty Bonavelza chose as his solution. Is that it? No, I'm afraid that's not the case. It wasn't due to his plan. It was because of the goddess's disappearance. Because of Etro? How? In this world, Etro is believed to be the goddess of death. Her followers are heretics, ones who go against society's ways. But the true Etro, she was the goddess that provided new life with a soul and a spirit. And now that she's gone, there's no one out there to take her place. Anything born into this world would be nothing more than an empty vessel. Reincarnation isn't a part of the world's cycle anymore. Dead souls don't return to this world in a new form. And that's why no new life is born. This problem, it doesn't just affect our world. According to legend, the almighty Bonavelsa will appear before us one day. And when he does, he will recreate heaven and earth. But that leads to the question, when this happens, who will breathe life into the new world? That's a good question. With the goddess gone, I suppose someone needs to fill her shoes. Yes. Otherwise, the circle of life will remain broken and the new world stagnant. You have a duty as the savior. If you really care about what happens to us in the new world, you have to find a way to do what Etro once did. That's a hell of a tall order. Finding a replacement for a goddess. But I want to thank you for telling me this, and I won't forget what you told me. You have my word. That's all I need to hear, to be completely honest. I... I don't know if you can save us all. But I know that if I have to put my faith in someone, it's you. What just happened? 
Was I able to save her soul? But that's not possible. I thought that wasn't within my powers. Now there's another two ghosts that you'll need to find. The second one is just inside the graveyard. If you remember the main quest where that woman was um, nearly getting killed and Noel jumped in and saved, saved her, well this is where she'll be located. So I'm showing you by me running and it gives me a bit of time to talk about it as well. Um, this one is also part of another quest because upon completion of speaking to this ghost you will get the Phantom Rose and I can't remember the quest off at the top of my head but it's from a little kid in the Warrens and he thinks you're a fake saviour so I'll let this one play out The day is finally come when I get to meet the saviour Are you... you must be one of the heretics' young victims Yes, that's right but looks can be deceiving, and not so young anymore. It might be hard to tell, but I've seen many more years than you have. I'm sorry. I'm the reason you were killed. It's my fault. Oh, stop it. Don't look so solemn. It's not like you plunged a knife through my heart. Besides, it was a fitting way for me to go. How could it be fitting? When I was alive, the almighty god Bonavelsa spoke to me. He told me I was to save the souls of those in need. I devoted my entire life to carrying out the plan he had laid out for me. If what you say is true, that would make you a savior too. No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. I wish I was like you, but I'm just a fraud that thought she was chosen by God. After I died, I realized something. It was just an echo in my head that I turned into something else because I wanted to hear God so badly. I know you must think I'm just a big fool, but will you save me, Savior? You have no idea how much I wish I could. I just don't have the power to save the dead. <laughs> what a pair we make. The one who is actually chosen by God, and a fraud who thought she was chosen by God, and neither can do a thing. I tried, though. I tried and was never able to save a single soul. At the very least, I wish I could have saved my own. Okay, the final ghost is located just at the bottom of the clock tower. So again, I'll show you, show me get into her, because they can be a bit. Uh, I find it easier just showing you. Really, um, one of the comments I had from a previous episode is um, they struggled to find what I was showing them, even though um, the item was there. It didn't. I didn't show how to get to the item. So I'll make sure that I do this on this one. So the clock tower, if you don't know, it's just before you go to the church. So it's in the, um, I can't remember what district it's called. Uh, Pilgrim's Passage, not even a district. And to your left, so where that sentry is, that's a good at point. To your left, and you want to go up these steps, and she is just there. And you'll see her with a question mark above red. I'll let this play out for you again. Who are you? You of all people should know who I am, and what happened here. Think about it. Your hair color. I guess I do know what happened. You were a victim of Vetro's fanatics, weren't you? That's right. When I was alive, I spent my days as one of God's soldiers, keeping those heretics in line. It wasn't easy, but under the Order's authority, I worked day and night to keep the peace. That's probably why I was targeted. It was certainly courageous, going against such a dangerous organization. Do you know anything about the Shadowhunter? Rumor has it he's their leader, a renegade rebelling against the established Order. 
Another one of society's outcasts. His actions weren't without good reason. In all fairness, we brought it on ourselves. The Order went through a dark period. A lot of mistakes were made back then. The Elders used their monopoly on food and goods to enforce the law. Do as we tell you or starve to death. Neither's much of a choice, is it? Of course, when you start reducing food supplies, what happens? The weak and innocent go hungry too. Then one day an incident occurred that shocked everyone. Someone stole and redistributed the food reserves to the children of Etro. Many of them were on the edge of starvation. <laughs> A heroic bandit. Yes, rumor has it that during his operation, he snuck into the quarters of one of the elders and left a message on their pillow while they were sleeping. A bold move, huh? The Shadow Hunter will seek justice. The Order got scared and began distributing provisions to everyone again. It's strange hearing the stories I've missed while I was asleep. So much has happened in the past 500 years that I know nothing about. We never crossed paths when you were still alive. And I can't even begin to imagine what you must have gone through during your lifetime. I just wanted to pass on my stories before I disappeared forever. It's an honor to get to share them with you of all people. I appreciate you giving me your time. Thank you. Right, okay, that is now quest complete. Like I said, this one, I quite enjoyed this one because you, you had to do quite a lot of different things and it wasn't exactly an obvious quest, it required a bit of thought process, but for it, we only get 400 gil and a halo and not very good stats to be honest, 40 HP and 60 strength, but a quest is a quest. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.